Profile 4 today in South Africa for the car. Profile 4 was a 400 mile an hour run. Um, we took the car up to the uh, north end of the track, so that's kilometre zero. Um, we started the car, uh, Andy uh, went down the track, got into reheat and maybe 20, 30 seconds into the run, the, or less than that, the car shut down. Um, we went up, I went up to the car, we've pulled off the data now and I'm just looking through the data to see what's caused the uh, engine shutdown. In front of me here, the blue trace is a, an accelerometer that's sitting on the car. And although it's hard to see, the green trace is the throttle that's being sent to the jet engine. What's happened is that Andy's gone over some rough terrain or slightly rougher track area and caused a large impulse into the car, into the suspension. So basically he's gone over a bump. Uh, that in turn has caused uh, one of the switches in the cockpit to look like it's gone low. It's only gone low in the data trace for less than 10 milliseconds, but that's enough time for the software to take it as, as an off request. And that off request was to the engine and to shut it down. So the solution, uh, so there's two solutions here. There's one is hardware based, so we make sure that the wiring to the switch is good. And the other is a software based fix where we just extend the amount of time that's required for the software to register whether the switch is on or off. So that basically means 10, a 10 milliseconds bounce on the switch won't stop things. We've extended it to 10, 20, 30, 40 milliseconds um, to stop this from happening again. So we'll try again tomorrow.